I'm Jasmine Bertels, and these are my five steps to getting out of debt. I'm in Birmingham today with £500 to see if people are spenders or savers. So if I were to give you a pound, would you like to spend it or save it? I'm the spender. <laughs> I've come to Curtin School in Boston in Lincolnshire to meet an expert team of super savers. You have 14 curts, what would you like to do? Can I add deposit them please? So this is an actual curt. There's the back of it. It's worth about 3p, but to these children it's worth a lot more. They can either deposit it in the bank here, or once they've earned enough, they can take some out and spend it in the curtain store next door. So what are you going to buy? A teddy. Oh, and show me where, where the teddy is. What do you, is it that one? Oh, lovely, should we go in and buy it? Yeah. Come on then. In auction houses across London, like this one in Islington, there are incredible bargains to be had. Good quality antique wooden furniture is going for a song right now, but it's only those in the know who realise what a bargain you can get. Wow, this is great. It looks quite different to where it was before, and, and it, it's just with a few pieces. So talk me through it. What, what's new and what's antique here? Don't you just love deposits and stamp duty and fixed rates and everything? No, and nor do I. Clothes, bags, even antiques. You could be making some good money by selling them in different ways. Studies have found that the more you save, the more of a buzz you get. So if you can say to yourself, oh, hang on a sec, I'm not going to spend, in fact, I'm going to see how I can spend less, stick it to the man. Because you know, once you do that, you get this, this real buzz of, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm, I've managed to do without that. In fact, I got that for free. If you put your thermostat down by just one degree, you can save a tenth of your fuel bills. And for you, that's over 100 quid, so it's worth doing. How do you pay off your Christmas debt? Big question. Well, first of all, I'd get the, the presents that you got that you didn't want, stick them on eBay, go to do a car boot sale, use that money to pay off the debt. Most of the people I've helped get out of debt have got into trouble because they've innocently assumed that banks and credit companies were there to look after their financial interests. Duh. So I, th I think you can definitely do that. Smile, keep quiet, and then a few days later, put it somewhere to sell it. Or maybe put it into your presence cupboard. If, like me, you have a presence cupboard. I have a, have a permanent presence cupboard. One of the ways that you do it is by going almost, almost buying it, so getting your item to the checkout and then just leaving it. Things are changing all the time, prices are changing sometimes on a daily basis. As you dilute the, the type of people that have a stake in the business, they're likely to want more in terms of profit, uh, particularly if they've put money in uh, recently. Whatever you can do, bring extra money in to pay off your debts. The faster you pay them off, the cheaper it'll be in the long run.